All right, joining me in the kitchen now, the executive chef at Tuscanini, John Zavarol. John, thanks for coming in today. No problem. Um, we're talking about the 2018 price fixing at the restaurants for Vail and Beaver Creek Restaurant Week. Tuscanini is a big player in this event for Beaver Creek. Um, not as many restaurants in Beaver Creek as you're going to find in Vail. Um, so you guys kind of get preferential treatment, so to speak, right? Cool, I think so, right? Yeah. I mean, the great thing, too, about a restaurant, it's a great location. Uh, we're looking right on the ice rink in Beaver Creek. So yeah. if you can find the ice rink, you can find us. You are in a great spot. Yeah, we are. And during the summertime, you're only open for dinner, is that correct? That's correct. Okay. Actually, for the winter as well. So we have happy hour at 3 o'clock. Oh, that's what, okay. And so then 5 o'clock, we open for dinner. And you've been involved with the Vail and Beaver Creek Restaurant Week for quite some time, probably, right? Oh, I have, actually. A couple of years since I've been up at Tuscanini. And you've been at Tuscanini for, what, five? Five years now. Okay. One year sous chef, and then the last four is executive chef. And then where were you before? Were you still in the valley, or did you just did you yep. relocate? Okay. I've been with the 10th, and I've also been at the Lodge of Bell okay. for a significant amount of time. So you've been kind of playing in some great restaurants. I have, yeah. I was all the way up to the end of the Wildflower. Really? Yeah. Wow, that's pretty neat. So with the, the restaurant week for you guys, um, what do you have going on? Obviously, you're cooking some trout today, yep. but uh, what does the menu look like for the $20.18? So for the $20.18 is all dinner entrees. So that includes all of our pastas and all of our uh, main entrees, like our trout that we're making right now, uh, veal, steak, um, scallops as well. So everything that's an entree pretty on much, the menu. Pretty is... much everything on the right side of the menu. When you come in. Everything on the right side of the menu. Yep. And the menu is big. Don't you have big menus? Yeah, we do. That's pretty exciting. So, ruby red trout. Yep. Obviously, not from here. It's brought from Idaho, I think. Idaho, you said, yes. Right? That's correct. Uh, nice, uh, sustainable fish. Nice and beautiful as well. It's got a different color and contrast compared to the um, rainbow trout everybody likes as well. And does it have that trouty, fishy flavor too? No, it's nice and fresh. And okay. Just, I don't know, it just tastes a little bit better, I feel, as well, than the rainbow trout. Um, how are you preparing it? And this is this is going to be your typical preparation for one of the entrees. How you're doing it here right That's now? That's correct. Okay. Yep. So we're just pan searing it with a little bit of oil. We start with oil, get that nice sear on it, because everybody loves that crispy skin. What kind of oil do you use? Um, I just use a blended oil. Okay. So canola, a little bit of olive oil in there, and then um, just a little bit of butter because it makes everything taste better, right? Now you look at it as you're cooking it; it gets white around the edges. Yep. It's kind of like cooking chicken in a way. Like once you start to see that. Whiteness, then you can pretty much flip it over. Yeah, because that means the underside is nice and cooked, and then you don't have that bloodline as well. And you probably don't need as much time once you flip it on the second side, nope, right? not at all. It should be cooked fairly through. Ideally, you cook it on the side that you represent. So this is what we're doing, so we're going to present it skin side up. Skin side up, and you can mm -hmm. eat the skin and everything, right? Yeah, absolutely. No problem at all. Yeah, it gives a nice little crunch factor. So butter and oil. Obviously, pan searing, mm -hmm. and then what do you? What are those little? You have some zucchini in there and some squash. But what are those little nuggets? Uh, so these are our house-made uh, gnocchis or uh, spinach dumplings. Um, I mean, gnocchi is kind of one of those things back and forth. A lot of chefs like to argue whether it has that potato or not. These are actually a ricotta gnocchi, so ricotta based with a little bit of flour, and then we just take some pureed spinach into it, and then we just roll them out. And I love how they don't have a uniform shape to them. Yep. Nice and rustic they is what I like kind of, to do. They tr definitely have that for sure, along with even the, the zucchinis looking that way. So pan searing about what, six minutes combined with both sides? I would say so, yeah. Nice, quick, easy pickup. We try to shoot for eight minutes at a restaurant when we can. So and then you, and you, and, and you also told me, John, that the, the ruby red trout is, is one of your best sellers at the restaurant year round. It is. It is. Yeah, this is actually a new dish. Uh, my sous chef actually created this dish. Um, but he brought it up to me, and I liked it, so we tried it, and I think it's number, definitely top three. Uh, okay. I think veal is our number one seller still, though. Oh, I love veal, too, huh? Is it easy to get the trout in the wintertime? Yes. Okay, no problem yep. at all. So can I have you hang out for another segment, and we can absolutely. finish this off and plate it? Is that good? Yeah, absolutely. All right, so we've got uh, Johnny as the executive chef at Tuscanini in Beaver Creek. We we're talking about Vail and Beaver Creek Restaurant Week, dining at altitude.com. $20.18 for this and all the entrees on the right side of the menu. We're coming right back. We have a look at that weather forecast and then back to the kitchen with John.